So already the conflict is on. And plus, you know, we sa uh, you said that Dmitry Kavenko is not always that aggressive. He's very soft. But in this game, I mean, even Maybe he, he is, is not, forced, he is forced to be aggressive. He's here, forced so to be aggressive. Yeah, because that's, that's right. Because Artemiev is playing really. Uh, that's right. If Black gets really aggressive, you know, because yeah, that's Black right. is playing quite also no some asked. kind of provocative. That's right. No questions asked. Uh, knight f4. What what can you do? I mean, so h takes, h takes. Bishop f4, g f4, d5. Yeah. Rather. Interesting. Yeah. So now if sharp breakthrough in the center. I mean, if Black takes this, then everything is opened in the center, and th this king on e8. I mean, it never yes, can. Yes. White hide. can. White will make castle long white, and then yes. add other rook to e1. So if if you try mm, to open sure. up the center, and, uh, Black's king and that's is gonna not be going disaster. Anywhere. Knight d7 played by Bukovshin, and then it's all about if Black is in time. Let's say after that. If black is in time to remove the queen and play castle long, I mean, if it's the case, then black is probably Fine. probably even winning. I mean, because after all, black has an extra pawn plus two bishops. Plus everything's great, but well, there is no guarantee he's gonna be in time. It might be something with bishop h5 or or, or this, for example, and then oh well, then queen e7 perhaps. Because now if you play queen b6, I'll be uh, chasing the rook and I'll give a mm -hmm. check on h5. But after e5, probably queen e7, and it's not so simple. Although, 